Hey, Sarah. I'm getting too used to this. How long? Weeks. Relax. You haven't missed much. The Ark and the Sleepers, they're safe in the Sphere? There's no raising the Hyperion, but we're not done with it. It is Meridian. A new port for all of humanity. We did it, Dad. What about your implant and Sam? I am once again helping the Pathfinder activate Remnant. Our connection has been restored to normal. Normal? You need him again? I'll take the help. I was turning my brain inside out. That is exceptionally inaccurate. Well, it felt like it. Didn't it, Sarah? The Nexus leaders are waiting, Pathfinder. Duty calls. Better not keep them waiting. It never ends. Go on. I need some rest. Go on. I need some rest. Go on. I need some rest. Your father's first sidearm. A memento of his early Alliance service. The decision isn't yours. Neither is it yours. That is the point, isn't it? Pathfinder, you're late. All right, get to it. What's so important? Initiative protocol. Thanks to you, we can finally proceed as intended. As outposts become colonies, the cluster needs its own voice. A true council. And while I maintain that it is premature, we must nominate an interim ambassador to represent concerns outside the Nexus. Or rather, you must nominate someone. Interim ambassador? To what and for who? To the Nexus. The eventual goal was always a galactic council, but Meridian has accelerated concerns. An Ark has landed. The vaults may make outposts self-sufficient, and we can't claim to represent a sovereign Angara. An interim ambassador would represent concerns outside the Nexus, until elections when we can all step aside. At the appropriate time. If this person is supposed to represent people, shouldn't the people have a say? That is precisely why we need your backing. We can't impose a vote on the Angara. Or even Kadara. Eladin? <laughs> Won't happen. But you've acted for everyone. If you endorse a name, some may disagree, but they will trust it as a starting point. Someone to speak for Helios. I put forward Pathfinder Reka. I'd suggest you, but someone might think you killed the Archon to elevate yourself. We can't allow the appearance of that. But Reka keeps the position and timeline in the Nexus family. The Angara need to help define the process. It's their right. Plus, the Moshai would help solidify relations. We're already partnered, thanks to your efforts against the Rokar. All the more reason to focus on our own issues. If we want stability, maybe we should ensure the Krogan stay. What if it was Morda? <laughs> you are out of your mind. It's definitely unorthodox. It feels like the original intent was to give that voice to the outposts. August Bradley's a proven leader. On a considerably smaller scale. Hard to fail with so much military support on EOS. Meridian doesn't mean done. Cat are still out there. A Pathfinder is the obvious choice for stability. For us. But hardly the empowering one. Same old bullshit. We need to keep influence centralized for now. That means Reka. The Pathfinder title should open a few doors. She's my choice. You see? That wasn't so hard. Sense rules on Meridian's opening day. Shove it, number eight. Sarah is feeling better. Good. This decision, the policy and protocol, that's not what your victory was about. There's more to life than this.
That viability bump clears the way for a lot of new colonists. We're accelerating. Ryder, enjoying the fruits of your labor? You deserve it. Thanks, Callow. The Tempest is getting some much-needed service. I thought I'd leave them to it. But I wouldn't miss the big day. Meridian looks so different out of the cockpit. I think I understand better why you do what you do. Thinking of trading in your pilot's chair for some muddy boots? Not even slightly. I know what I'm good for. I don't pretend to understand everything, but Meridian must have opened a lot of doors. Not all of them safe. I want you to know that it'll be my privilege to keep flying you to them. I can't do this without a good pilot. Or a great pilot. How about a pilot determined to help his friends? I've learned a lot from you, Ryder. And Gil. Though, please don't tell him that. Things will change now. But that's all right. Nothing's ever really lost. All's well, it seems. Colonists with military training slated for deployment on Prodromos. Up straight, everyone. This is the guest of honor. Well, like you have to tell anyone that. Hunter, this is our opening. Let there be some sense of ceremony. As I was about to say, hello, Pathfinder. I am Chief of Operations, Ayora Pile. Second Wave Placements Officer, Darlavas Hyperion. Hunter Carey, Reconstruction. This is the first I've heard of the term Second Wave. It isn't literal. There have been several groups deployed for outposts. Second Wave is about the staged evolution of the initiative. First wave out of cryo, structural support and generalists. Food and fences. Second wave is organizational. Less generalists, more specialists. More paperwork. It's needed to rapidly advance. I'm not spending a generation on the range. Darla Vos Hyperion, placements officer? As our developments in the cluster grow more sophisticated, proper matching of sleeper and assignment will be vital. My mission is to ensure compatibility and fulfillment. When are you changing your name to Vast Meridian? I keep Vast Hyperion to honor the ship that brought us here, as my godparents would want. The saying was dying. Please forgive Hunter. He is an ass. Ayora Pillay, you're in charge of Meridian? That's a big statement. I will oversee the operations and establishment of our port. Exploration and study of the... interesting substructure will be handled by Initiative R&D. I'm told that may take lifetimes. We'll ensure that we have them. That's what I trained for. Hunter Kelly, can I get some clarification on reconstruction? Sure thing. I'm tasked with turning this once proud vessel into the future proud human capital. It's more complicated than that. No, it's a structural and organizational nightmare. Which is job security, which is perfect. Come back in a year. This'll be a galactic hub. You won't know where the Hyperion ends and Meridian begins. Sounds like Meridian is in good hands. I can only read the reports of how you brought us this opportunity, but rest assured, we will not waste it. Yes. Thank you, Pathfinder. Aye, what they said. Thank you, Pathfinder. I'll pay it forward, I swear. Hmm. Thank you, Pathfinder. You're why we're here. I'll ship shape here. Hey, Ryder. How's Sarah? Much better. There might be two Riders around soon, imagine. The Hyperion's forming scientific teams. Gotta start studying what we have. I may have helped them organize. That'll be exciting. 
Meridian rewrites all kinds of physical laws. Maybe they'll name a new law after you. Something about never staying in one place? This is a new cradle for humanity. That's a big idea. Bigger than I'd imagined. So maybe building those teams was smart. Small steps to understand all this. Until we're at the top of the mountain. And seeing the next horizon. Can't deny it. I'm game for more. With so much power in our hands, you think it'll be okay? Cora, sometimes you just have to leap out there and see where it takes you. Yeah, I guess you do. Whatever happens, you gave everyone an incredible gift. Nice job, Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. <laughs> so this is how you all party, hmm? <laughs> Pretty tame, but don't tell the host I said that. Meridian is amazing, though. You accomplished the inconceivable. I'm grateful to be part of it. No, I'm grateful. I couldn't have asked for a better team. We created this together. And exactly what it is, what it may become. <laughs> I can't even imagine to think that when we met, the Angara and your initiative struggled to find trust. The way we arrived on Aya was over the top. You know, uninvited and on fire. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Guess it worked out okay. <sighs> Ryder, the Angara will never forget how you saved the Moshrai. But more than that, we'll never forget how you fought the Ket beside us. How we destroyed the Archon. Meridian is a new beginning for your people and mine. Together. It's like a fairy tale. Do you have those? Where everyone walks off into the sunset holding hands? At a time like this, I, I... I think it's strange that you can't resist making a joke. I can't, so? <clears throat> Jal, our people... Actually, no, I can't. <clears throat> Actually, I kind of like it. Ark Hyperion. Departed Milky Way 2185. Arrived Andromeda 2819. Current status recorded as Meridian. Well, narrator guy is getting work. Please select a topic. The transformation of Ark Hyperion into Port Meridian continues both above and below the surface. This includes the planned integration of initiative and remnant technologies, pending further research. Port Meridian is currently powered by repurposed Tantalus drive cores, which require the frequent discharge of static energy. This causes a unique visual phenomenon during Meridian's night cycle that has been dubbed Aurora Meridiani. Arc Hyperion has been declared a monument to those who lost their lives in service of the initiative. A plaque has been placed at the highest point of the Hyperion superstructure. It reads, we turned our backs upon a dwindling star to chase a dawn beyond our childhood's end. The Hyperion was shepherded to its resting place by a coalition of allies who stood as one against the Ket Archon. Pathfinder Scott Ryder spearheaded the defense and remains assigned to Arc Hyperion despite its reclassification. Landing Day has been proposed as a cluster-wide holiday. Status pending. While decommissioned as a vessel, the superstructure silhouette of Arc Hyperion will be maintained in perpetuity. All internal structures are being adapted for sleeper deployment and future industrial and residential development. These internal structures have been designated as Port Meridian. It's 
It's overwhelming. I don't know where to start, but I can. I don't care which world I'm on. It's all more than I hoped. Pathfinder, I'm told there will soon be a new voice representing Helios. Another of your leaders claiming to know what we need. It was an impossible choice, Ephra. There's no name that would represent everyone. Though the one chosen definitely represents someone. Don't they, Pathfinder? No one's pretending this is ideal, but it's a start. That's irrelevant. Things started long before any of you arrived. The only important question is, what will continue? Hire of GX's Pathfinder. To better tomorrows. Pathfinder? The last thing they said before Cryo was the Pathfinder hey. would us through. They were wrong. Ready whenever. Scott, kept a seat for you. In your planet, that's not getting less weird. About time Iridian got a proper grand opening. We all need this. Heard Sarah woke up. How's she doing? She'd be angry if I said anything but great. Which means... Great. Stubborn as hell. I hear it runs in the family. Hey, know who I just talked to? A second wave technician, fresh out of cryo. Just had his first sunrise in Andromeda. He couldn't stop crying. Just him? <laughs> uh, must be something going around. Maybe you're the carrier. It's really feeling like home, you know? Finally. They haven't given you five minutes alone since the fight. Have you had a chance to let it sink in? Sometimes I just stare out the window, thinking, we did it. It's hard to believe. I feel you. Just... ground under our feet, knowing it's ours. I can't wait for more people to wake up. Enjoy it, Pathfinder Rider. Tomorrow, we're back on the job. Ready for duty, Pathfinder. After the party. How's things? Pathfinder, here! So glad you're up and around. I have important news for you. There always is. Yes, discoveries every day, but this is something we've been waiting for. Listen. What should I be hearing? Sorry, Sam. Active filtering. Initiative protocol Alpha Alpha to the screen. Protocol what? Processing. Repeating! This is the Ark Kirathia. The situation is not under control. Note and avoid until further updates. Repeating. Is that? The Corian Ark. And Elcor, Drell, Volus? Hanar, I think. That's some delicate business, putting Hanar in stasis. Point is, they're still out there. The Kilasia wasn't destroyed. It's patchy, and there's no traceable vector, I assume? It bounced through the Scourge. I've doubled long-range probes, but... That's not a distress call. It's a warning to keep away from... wherever they are. Whatever's happening, they don't want to be found yet. We have to trust their Pathfinder. All we can do is wait. Nothing new, Pathfinder, but... The Quarian Ark is out there. There's hope. How's things? So, Tan says he's gonna let me stick around and help with the... Hey, Ryder. What's the word on the street? Ryder saves the day. Pathfinder of the century. You know, the usual. Still? Get used to it. They're gonna name things after you when you die. And... 
probably even before. So we heading out again soon? Oh, she's all grown up, leaving home, doesn't need me anymore. <laughs> That'll be the day. We'll handle my deals on this end while I'm gone. Seeing you two in cahoots <laughs> makes me all misty. You know this is your fault, right? Helping us along? Helis has really turned into the fresh start I wanted. In so many ways. And now with Meridian, we're really going to make this place ours. I can't wait. You know where to find me when you're ready. Ready to go whenever you are, Ryder. Till then, I'll just enjoy the view. Huh. Kid. Sorry, Ryder. You know what? You can call me Kid. It's kinda nice, actually. <laughs> I won't tell anyone you said that, Kid. This place is something else. It's just another starting line. Where we go from here is on us. Well, damn, you were listening to me after all. Through all the creaking of your old bones. <laughs> I sent out what's left of the Macmore Scouts. Nearly drowned me in reports until I pointed them at Tan. Told him to be extra wordy just for him. He'll love that. He wanted the job, he can have the reports. It's not over, you know. There'll be more Ket and whatever else is waiting out there. I know, right? It's going to be so much fun. Ha 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 Ready when you are. Hey. Amazing. It's overwhelming. I don't know where to start, but I can. If you're expecting a pat on the back, you're going to be disappointed. All right. I'll settle for a hug. How does your crew stand you? Some people find me endearing. Charming, even. More like insufferable. But you do get results. That was dangerously close to a pat on the back. You're hearing things. Plenty of people actually want to talk to you. Don't waste your time with me. Plenty of people... What's new? Ready when you are. I don't know why I'm alive. Even these Jardin were surprised at what they created. It is not uncommon for a creator to be surpassed by their creation. Couldn't anyone else have said that? Even these Jardin were surprised at what they created. It is not uncommon for a creator to be surpassed by their creation. Couldn't anyone else have said that? Thanks. Meridian, huh? I see it every day, and I'm still amazed. We're really starting to put down roots. It's wonderful. Did I tell you? The team's working with the Angara to set up a joint research body. That sounds exciting. 
I know. I can't wait. Us helping them, them helping us. Can you imagine what we could accomplish? <sighs> I'm getting all misty just thinking about it. Joint research body cooperation with the Angara? You're planning a party, right? Of course. Nothing builds a team like a good whiskey and a laugh. You'd better show up, Ryder. We wouldn't be here if not for you. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it for the world. This place is incredible. I really want to delve into its inner workings, but we haven't got clearance yet. I think they're afraid us mucking around might cause Meridian to drop out of the sky or something. Ryder, I'm ready to go when you are. Still standing? Still standing. Then I did my job. Somehow. Nothing more need be said. I'll remember that the next time you chew me out for getting hurt. So will I, Ryder. So will I. Pathfinder. Ryder. Pathfinder, thanks for the invite to the party. I didn't organize anything. Not this. Landing day. That was worth jumping galaxies. Hey, Ryder. Jill is walking the walk. The procedure took. I'm gonna be a dad. Congratulations. I'm thinking Mary if it's a girl, Deanne if it's a boy. Mary, Deanne, Marie Deanne. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. Knew you'd like it. So, this is supposed to be a celebration, right? You getting used to any of this yet? Meridian? Dream becoming a reality? We're not done by a long shot. Come on, try to ease up a little. Enjoy the win. But so you know, I've got the Tempest topped out and ready. You want to blow this hot dog stand? Just say the word. Callow's out there somewhere, time one on. If we're really sneaky, he won't even notice we're gone. Who's flying then? You? Why the hell not? I'm a quick study. How hard can it be? You better get this nonsense out of your system in the next nine months, you know. <laughs> Little Mary's gonna have a fun dad. The Tempest is calling. She wants to get going. I told her to sit tight. You're partying. Glad to have you. I think we'll make it here. What does this mean, Sam? The language is imprecise, or perhaps too precise, but the potential capacity of Meridian is clear. Unlimited. Oh, good, you're here. Maybe the festivities can finally begin. I don't like sitting on my ass. Places to see, people to go, y you know what I mean. Well, let's get this show on the road. Meridian looks great, but, you know, been there, done that. Hey, this was a big accomplishment. It's important to enjoy it. Don't get me wrong. I'm proud of us. Helios is changing, and will be for a long time. I'm just antsy. Don't want to miss a thing. There's so much more out there to learn and do. I know. We've only just scratched the surface. Hey, get your head out of the sky, Ryder. Enjoy the moment. 
We're here to celebrate, remember? What am I gonna do with you, PB? I'll send you a list. For now, you're right. The galaxy isn't going anywhere. Let's have some fun. Heading out soon? <clears throat> Making a quiet exit? Figured I'd leave before I teared up. No one needs to see that. I expect that honesty is part of what draws them to you. I tried to think of a way to honor what you did. Some protocol. There isn't one. Your father invented this rule, but you defined it. This is great and all, but it feels weird to be on a ship that isn't moving. We're explorers. There's more to see out there. Let's go find it. Sam, that's... 100% viability on all known UNC's Pathfinder. Please access the Tempest VidCon for an important update. Tempest VidCon? All right.
You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Lexi, I hear Sarah's doing well. She's healing. Not as fast as she'd like, of course. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see effort. Damn it, Sid. One, there's no place to grow anything right now. Two, and she thinks what we do is so exciting. But what if she gets herself into another mess? You don't have to say anything. How about I let you get back to work? AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. We're in stable orbit. I'm picking up something. Probes launched. Getting a scan. Anomaly detected. Probe away. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Anomaly on sensors. Probes launched. Anomaly found. Picking up something.
probes launched. I found something. We're in stable orbit. I talk to my family every day. Record memo. You made it back. You always come back. I was worried about you. After the cat attack. I wasn't afraid of them. Just afraid for you. Everything will change now. I want to start documenting Meridian, and, and I guess you'll be busy too. Not everything will change. Not if we don't want it to. Well then, we'll both have something to hold on to. Meridian. Now that's history in the making. I talk to my family every day. They can't believe half of what I tell them. All clear. was looking for you.
Twilight Rider. Scott, you did it. Everyone is talking about you. Just when I think you can't amaze me more. You really are incredible. You said someday when this is all over. It's over now. I have a feeling your real work has just begun. But, oh, I'm terrible at this. Just, no matter where you go, make sure you always come back for me. Always. Until next time. Be careful out there, Scott. Ryder, Lexi was looking for you. What can I do for you? Oh. Where to next? We'll go wherever we're needed most. And now you sound like a superhero, but not saying you aren't, of course. And you're right. We are still needed out there. So what are we waiting for? Ryder. What are your thoughts on the origin of the Angara? You're not the only one who's asked that. It's going around, people saying it's unnatural. Are biotics natural? What about space travel, painkillers, clothing, fire? All of it's made our lives better. Why would I draw the line at life creation tech? But what about the ethics of the entire thing? I'd say the act of creation itself is indifferent. The intention behind it is what matters. Create people so they can self-determine and live meaningful lives? Good. Make people to serve as slaves? Bad. Very, very bad. I have to say I agree. The Angara are the same, whether evolved or created by some mysterious hand. Not everyone sees that, however. And knowing the Scourge was a weapon meant to destroy the Jardin makes me wonder. Maybe someone out there really hated what the Jardin were doing. I should get back to things. Sounds good. You have AVP Outstanding, Pathfinder. Lexi, I hear Sarah's doing well. She's healing. Not as fast as she'd like, of course. Think how much we'll get done with two riders. I can't wait to see Ephra's face when he learns there's another one. Meridian, at last. There's still so much to do. For the Nexus, the Angara, but not today. Today, we get to feel good about winning. See you later, Cora. Stay safe.
So... So? <laughs> so... Isn't this the best time to be alive? Yeah, I've decided it is. Or the best time to be awake, as the case may be. No, awake and alive. Because if you weren't here, you'd be dead. Best time to be alive. Yeah, though I don't know how we top this feeling. For now, maybe we don't have to. I'll see you later, John. Stay strong and clear. Detail. Detail. A home in the middle of Kadara, despite it all. We'll talk later. I know it. A toast to the vanquished. The Archon, face down, ass up. So long, bone brain. How about to Meridian? It's my toast, and it's to the vanquished. Here, here, then. I can't believe you picked a Solarian for ambassador. Really thought you had more sense than that, Ryder. Guess I'll stick around, but at this rate, who knows for how long. Just talk to Kesh. Looks like some of the clan are back at the Nexus. Hired on as mercs instead of part of the initiative, but still. Good call you made. Letting her keep the drive core. New dawn for the Krogan, huh? Never thought I'd see the day. Sovereign Krogan as equal allies. My mother would have approved. We can talk more later. Sure. Hail the Archon Killer. I heard it was touch and go, but you really rose to the occasion. Not much choice when your back's against the wall. Remind me never to piss you off. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Ready for more tests? Not again. Lexi, I'm fine. Sit now, and I'll skip the blood work. Have you experienced any muscle spasms? Nosebleeds? Memory loss? No, but I feel a headache coming on. Ha ha. Comments like that used to get a rise out of you. I know you too well now. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> You should know. Professor Hirik approached me about a transfer to the Nexus. Apparently my research on Ket anatomy has been useful to the militia. You could continue your studies in a low-risk environment. I turned him down. Truth is, I've discovered I do my best work in the field. And someone has to keep an eye on you. You've kept me alive so far. We'll just ignore the fact you died on me. Twice. Three times. 
No, no, the first time's on Harry. I guess that's fair. Ready for more tech? Have you experienced any muscle spasms? Nosebleeds? Memory loss? I feel like my normal self. You haven't been normal since Habitat 7. Inhale. <sighs> Exhale. Apparently my research on Ket Anatomy has- Guess I'll be telling my next doctor about my abandonment issues. I declined. Really? Didn't have a choice. No other doctor in the initiative would take you. I'm lucky to have you here. Yes, you are. But I'm pretty lucky too. <laughs>